Hey guys, Jim here with Jim's Plants, Trends, and Video Games. Today, I am reviewing the Thomas the Tank Engine set from Lionel. Now, this is a very early Thomas the Tank Engine set. Just to let you know before we get started with this review. Um, it is from, I believe, 2004. So, it was before Lion Chief and all that stuff. But, um, yeah. We're going to dive right on in. So right up front. Uh, oh, just to let you know before we uh, start this review. Uh, this locomotive has been abused. These, this set has been abused for years. So I thought I'd just let you know that before. Because the, uh, if, the, if you found a set like this in for a new condition, it would look much better than the set. But starting up front. We have a removable face that I have somehow managed to broke the moving eye system on the inside. But, uh, yeah, the eyes move. I knew set they would, uh, function correctly, but they don't because I broke them. But anyway, up here we have the uh, buffers and the hook where a European, uh, European style coupling. On the bottom, we have some three nice drive wheels with a bar running between the three of them. Up here, we have, you know, a nice crisp number one and a bunch of red uh, outline. We have some plastic, uh, some plastic hollowed. We have. Nicely molded in details. If we take this roof off, on the inside, there is a whistle on-off switch in right there. And this is the direction on-off switch. Placing the cover, we have two small whistles here and here. We have two windows, two painted windows on, two painted on windows here and here. We have a steam sand dome we have and we have a smokestack taking the engine off track the rear of the locomotive has two painted on windows it has a reverse light that's non-functional and we have uh, the European style couplings with a uh, the, um, American style coupler on the bottom you can see the motor right there you can see the uh, assembly for the uh, coupler, so the coupler can move. I really can't demonstrate it. Um, here, we have the two pickup rollers. And then we have a traction tire. Uh, it appears to be... We have one traction tire on this locomotive. It has six wheels. These two are, don't have any flange. The two mil don't have flanges. And, um, yeah, you can see where the speaker come, the sounds come out uh, there. And, um, yeah, that's about it for Thomas. Alright, putting them back on the track. For the two cars, the two cars are identical other than the name. This is Annabelle, Annabelle Clarabelle. Annie, Annie Clarabelle. Sorry. Can't speak today. So we have a bunch of nice molded on details. Uh, each of them has a different face on one side. The other side is just molded in details. Um, yeah. On the bottom, we have two wheel sets and then the coupler a coupler assemblies. On each end, we have the European style coupling with the American coupler. Putting this back on the track, these are have very nice hidden... Um, uncoupling tabs and just before we get to the sound j just before we get to the running I just want to show you guys that the roof on these en on these cars come off and it looks very nice and it's very nice you can put uh, the, the figurines that come with the set which I do not have out because otherwise I would probably lose them there's three figurines 
um, so Tom had the, um, the main guy on the island. I don't really know that much anymore. And then we have, like, two engineers, I guess. But, uh, that's the set for details. It's a very basic set because it's meant for children and, um, it's meant for them to be abuse it. So, let's get to running. This locomotive has forward, neutral, and reverse. It has a whistle. It's, it's a very, it has a very smooth running. That squealing you hear is just because I need to oil it. And Thomas, by the way, has a speed limit. And that's its full speed. And it will not derail. Which a very which is a very nice feature that Lionel decided to add. Here's the whistle. Alright, now let's see the motion. Not reverse. Forward. Alright, that concludes this review. I thought I'd just let you know that I needed a lighted track to remove a little bit of the power so that way Thomas can operate from the CW80. I guess it runs on like 17 volts or something. So we needed a lighted track to remove uh, some of the power. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, let me know what, what you think of this review, how I can improve it. Or how, uh, or what you'd like to see on this channel. Thank you guys for watching.